Amen. But we just want to thank God that um, He has brought us thus far uh, in this brand new year of 2022. Yes. Amen. We are so grateful, amen, for all that He has done and have such a great outlook on what He's going to be doing for us and what we're going to be doing for Him, right? Amen. amen. Because we know this is a reciprocal thing, right? Amen. But we can't beat God giving no matter how you try. So, uh, 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 the more you give of yourself, uh, uh, the songwriter said, the more he'll give back yes. to you. Amen. So if you're looking for the blessings of God to overtake your life, get a mission on board. Amen. Get, get, get something down in your spirit. Amen. That you're willing, amen, to go all out for. Amen. In this day, in this time, there's so many people out there that need you. Amen. That need your ministry, that need your encouragement. Yes. Amen. So we did not want to uh, miss another Sunday. Well, we haven't missed any, but we, we don't want to miss a Sunday. Yes. Amen. So we thought we would take advantage of this Sunday just to bring this broadcast to you live. Amen. We're going to be back in the sanctuary on Sunday. Amen. We don't want this to become a pattern, but we thank God for the technology that we're able to stay connected Amen. with you. So come on, we're going to go into a word of prayer before we open up our service. Father God, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, O oh God, for allowing us, Citadel family, and those that are joining, first-time guests, or those that are just scrolling through, O oh God, joining us by social media. God, we want to thank you for allowing thank us you, one more time yes, to come in your presence because we want to acknowledge your presence here today. God, it's not where we are physically, but it's where we are spiritually and emotionally. God, and we thank you, oh God, that right now that we are under your atmosphere. We thank you for this atmosphere of worship. We thank you for this atmosphere of praise. Hallelujah. That we can come, oh God, and acknowledge you in all of our ways and that you will give us direction. Oh God, we're looking for direction, God. Not just direction for ourselves, but how we can be a blessing to others. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for the mission that you have given us. Thank you for Citadel of Hope Mission. We thank you, oh God, for the trajectory, oh God, that you put us on. We thank you for the path, oh God, that our steps are being ordered by you. Hallelujah. We thank you for every saint, oh God, every member that's joining us on this line today. Continue to bless and keep them, oh God, as we go throughout the rest of this year. And we'll be so careful to praise you and give you the glory and give you the honor in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just a little bit of this, Will. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Oh, because you care for me in such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Come on, do you praise him today? Come on. My heart, my mind, my soul belongs to you. You paid the price for me way back on Calvary. That's why I praise you. I praise you. And I lift you. I magnify your whole name. Oh, that's why. My heart is filled with praise. One more time. I love you. Come on. I love, yes, I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Oh, because you cared for me in such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up. And I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Come on, is your heart filled with praise today? 
Is your heart filled with praise today? Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say hallelujah. Come on with uplifted hands today. Come on, tell them I love you, Lord. Come on with everything in me. Hallelujah. I love you because of who you are to me. Oh, what you've done for me. Hallelujah. You've been a great God. Therefore, I owe you a great praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Song says, our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any. Come on. Our God is a healer. Awesome in power, our God. Our God, yes. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any other. Our God is a healer. And he's awesome in power, our God. Our God, one more time, come on. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than Healer, healer, and he's awesome in power. Our God, for when it and if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand against? Today, come on. Then walk and stand again. Hallelujah. Come on, our God is greater. Come on. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher than any. Our God is a healer. Our God. Feel the 
spirit Oh, I can feel it moving I can feel the spirit moving I can feel it moving I can feel the spirit moving I can feel it moving I can feel the spirit moving Somebody 
they say there's none like you, Lord. Come on, nobody like our God. How do we know that? Because we have experienced his glory. Come on, we have experienced his favor over our lives. You know, these last few weeks, amen, I've been just, you know, the Lord has been bringing us a word to just more personalize who he is to us in our personal experiences of our lives. Come on, we have to learn how to personalize God. I know that he's God of all. Amen. But he belongs to you. And you've got to know that there's nobody like him in your life. Hallelujah. Not just to the masses. Amen. Not just going by what somebody else said. Amen. But you got to prove God in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say, he's my personal Savior. He's my personal Savior. Come on, that's what they used to say. Not that he's just my Savior. Amen. But we used to say, he's my personal Savior. Yes. Hallelujah. That means that he did it for you, but he did it for me. Yes. He did it for me. I have proof in my life that he did it for me. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And then as you realize that as you as you realize that he's done it for you amen and that he's a god that will continue to prove himself amen you don't have to guess about what's coming next you don't have to worry about what's coming on tomorrow because you will know that god is an, is an eternity ahead of us i'm gonna say that again our god is an eternity ahead of us the Bible tells us that he knows the thoughts and the plans that he has towards us and that it's not for evil that it's for good yes. he already knows he's already worked it out in our lives yes, amen and once you get that on the inside of you Amen, that, that all things are going to work together for your good and that God is on your side and that you don't have to fear what man can do to you. Once you personalize him for yourself, then the Bible says you can humble yourself before him. We're going to go to 1 Peter chapter 5. It says, humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of God. That he may exalt you in due time. Casting all your cares upon him because he cares for you. Now you can't do that if you don't have confidence in who you're casting your cares upon. Hallelujah. And I'm sorry y'all, I can't go by just word of mouth. There has to be some evidence in my life. To give me the confidence that I need in order to cast my cares. Amen. I can't trust people just by what they say. What they say that they're going to do for me. Or how they say they feel about me. Come on, the proof is in the pudding. Come on, it's not what you say, but it's what you do. So I'm asking you, beyond the word of God and what the word of God says, has he done anything for you? Hallelujah. Come on, think about it. Has God done? I know the answer already because he woke us up this morning. Even though some of us, we may think our alarm clock went off at a certain time. If God did not call your name, if he did not have grace and mercy on you this morning, hallelujah, you would still be laying there. But because he's done something, have God done some things? Thank you, Lord God. Has he done some things in your life? First of all, has he saved you? Is he your personal savior? Because without that, amen, all the other things are just going to pass away anyway. It's, you know, you can't put any stock in that. Even if you have received a healing without salvation, even our healing is temporary. Somebody needs to hear this. Even your healing is temporary. 
Hallelujah. Because these bodies, because of sin in the world, these bodies are going to break down after a while. Amen. And the Bible tells us it's appointed on the man once to die and then comes the judgment, right? Amen. So, uh, uh, hey, it's wonderful. We love healing. Amen. Not feeling the greatest even in my body today, but I'm telling you that I'm healed by the mercies of God. And healing is great, but why are we healed? We're healed to continue the work. That God has for us. Amen. It's not just for us to feel good. Come on somebody. But it's for us to carry out his plan. For our lives. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. But even the blessings of God. On this side of glory. Are temporary. But there's one thing. Somebody say one thing. One thing. One thing. And that's what he died for. He didn't just die so that you can have a better life or a bigger car or a bigger house or a big bank account. Come on, somebody. Those are the things that are added unto you. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God. And you can't get to the kingdom without salvation. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody can come to the Father but through me. But by me. Hallelujah. So all these things that we put so much stock in. And they're good for this side of glory. Don't get me wrong. I'm not discounting it. Thank you Lord God. But what I'm here to tell you is that those things are temporary. These things are going to pass away. Yes. Even the increase. Come on. Yeah, we're asking God, Lord, enlarge my territory. Give me increase. Give me favor. Give me all these things. But they mean nothing without salvation. Hallelujah. When you have him as your personal savior, then you have a personal confidence that you can cast all your cares upon him because you know that he cares for you. Then you can do these things that the word of God is saying in chapter 8. It says, be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Why is the Bible telling us to be sober minded? Because many times when the enemy comes our way, we try to find substances. We find it. We try to find other avenues to take our mind on what's right in front of us. Try to deny the obvious. Like they talk about the ostrich putting his head in the sand. Come on, not wanting to deal. Come on, not wanting to deal with what's going on around us when we are attacked by the enemy. Even with this coronavirus, y'all, it's a demonic attack. Yes, it Hallelujah. But we have to be sober-minded. We got to be vigilant. Because we can expect our adversary, the enemy, to attack us. It says, whom resisted steadfast in the faith. Knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. In other words, y'all, yeah, coronavirus, it didn't just affect the world. It affected the people of God also. The things that we come on, debt, all these, all the things, come on, the last couple of years. Amen. There is proof right there. I told you the evidence is in our living. It's what you live through. Hallelujah. These things are, are, are accomplished. But the God of all grace. Who has called us unto his eternal glory. It didn't say just his glory. But I believe this eternal glory is a different kind of glory. It's, it's not the glory that we just live in for this life. But it says eternal glory. That's why I'm telling you that God is an eternity ahead of your issue. He's an eternity ahead of your problem and your situation. 
When you come up on these things, God is not trying to figure out how to get you out of it. He's already gone ahead of you. Come on, somebody say, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. There's a song we used to sing like that. Jesus down inside of me telling me to go ahead. How can I go ahead? Because if God is before us, who can be against us? Come on, somebody. God is before us. If he's in charge of my eternity, you don't have to worry. Come on. And don't you be afraid. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Do you understand that God, come on, he's ordering our steps. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. But the God of all grace in verse 10, who have called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. By Christ Jesus. He's not talking about uh, 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 the glory of the breaking of the bread and the and the and the and the feeding of five thousand and the and the and the uh, 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 healing of people. See all these things, the provision, the healing, the miracles that he's done, all wonderful, and it's still happening even today. But he said the eternal glory by Christ Jesus after that he had suffered a while. He's talking about the suffering of the cross. Hallelujah. The suffering of the cross by Jesus Christ after that ye have suffered. He's talking about us because he suffered. Amen. We can go through our suffering. He said, after we have suffered a little while, he will make us perfect, establish, strengthen, and he will settle you. Let me be clear about that. The eternal glory by Christ Jesus. That means that his suffering that he did for us on the cross gives us the confidence that he's able to keep us. After we have suffered a little while. If you think you're going to get through this life without suffering. Come on, you're mistaken. But the thing is, the Bible told us that he will strengthen us and make us perfect. Even in our so-called suffering. Hallelujah. He will strengthen and settle you. And after he settles you, you should be able to find some glory on the inside of you. It says to him, be glory and dominion forever. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. Hallelujah. See, Paul said it best in Romans chapter 8. It says here, amen, regardless of what we go through. Because we got to live this, y'all. We got to live this thing. Romans chapter 8 said, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulations or distress or persecution or famine, nakedness, pearl or sword? Come on, these are the things that we're going through. As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Through him that have loved us. For I am persuaded. I'm going to stop right there for a second. You know persuasion. Many times it can come through. Somebody talking to you. Or convincing you somehow. But I find the greatest persuasion is life. And what we go through in life. That's our greatest persuasion. You know, the old folk used to say all the time, and you heard me say this many times, oh, you haven't gone through it? Keep on living. Keep on living. Come on, somebody say, keep on living. Keep on living. And life, come on, I'm talking about life. Life will eventually persuade you. 
one way or the other. He said, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, no height, no depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is, is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You know why he was saying that? Because he lived it. Not because he heard it. Because of all the experiences of his life led him to this point. Come on, somebody. It led him to this point that he said, all that I've gone through, he never dropped me. Come on, he never left me alone. Hallelujah. He never left me alone. Hallelujah. All of my trials, all of my circumstances, all the times when I thought I was not going to make it, God made a way out of no way. When I could not see, hallelujah, how I was going to get out, he made a way. But you got to live it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. I believe that in a day like today, that the words that we read out of the word of God, they have to become life to us. You can't just speak the word, but you got to live the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to hear that today. That word needs to start to jump off the pages. Come on. Amen. It has to come off the pages. The Bible didn't say hide the word in the Bible. He said hide the word in your heart that you might not sin against God. Oh, somebody needs to grab onto that. Somebody say, I'm going to live this thing. Come on, somebody say, I'm going to live this thing. Come on, it's, 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 it's bigger than just what's on the pages. It's bigger than what's just on the pages. You got to live it and allow God to take you through. And then you will get the confidence in the word of God. Amen. That you won't lose hope. You won't allow uh, 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 the, 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 the things that we just talked about. This life, this death, these creatures, these circumstances that come up. Amen. In our living. You won't allow it to separate you. Well, first of all, it cannot. It cannot separate you from the love of God. But you can separate yourself. You can walk away, but God will never walk away from you. Somebody needs to receive that today. He will never walk away from you. Regardless of what you go through, he's always there. He's always there saying, I love you. The Bible says in Romans chapter 4, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised. Oh, somebody better grab onto this. He was able to perform. That's Romans chapter 4, verse 21. I'm talking about being fully persuaded today. Fully persuaded. Fully convinced. Fully made to know for myself. Not going off what grandma said. Not going off what grandpa said. Not going off mommy and daddy. Hallelujah. But I am. Somebody say I am persuaded. I am convinced. Because of the personal interaction that I had with God. And that I have with God. I am persuaded. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, y'all. If you don't get your own personal uh, 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 experience with God. 
you're going to fall. You're going to fail. Amen. I, I'm telling you right now because the things that we are facing in today's times, amen, with all the misinformation that's out there, if you don't have the word of God rooted, come on, as they used to say, rooted, rooted. and grounded in your life, you're not going to make it. I've never seen in all of my life, and I ain't been here that long, but even as I look throughout history, there's only been a few examples of how so many people can follow a person. Hallelujah. Did you hear what I said today? Blindly follow people. Knowing the flaws of man, knowing the flaws of man's character. It's true. Hallelujah. There is a deceitful spirit throughout the land. Come on. There was a strong delusion. The Bible says that God will send a strong delusion. And he will allow people to turn over to their own wants and their own lustful desires. That's called a reprobated mind. Turning you over to yourself. You don't want to listen to the word. You don't want to abide by the word of God. Come on. You don't want to live this word of God. You don't want to hide this word in your heart. That you won't find yourself living in sin. You want to ignore. Come on. The consequences of sin. There's always a consequence to sin. Bible says the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. There's that word again. Eternal eternal as I said God is an eternal God yes, he is. songwriter said build your hopes on things that are eternal yes. and hold on to God's unchanging hand. unchanging hand but my God we just are so in love with the quick fix and the right now Hallelujah. Our faith is built on what we have. Thank you, Lord God. Our faith is built on what have you done for me lately? Huh? But are you persuaded today that even those afflictions that are in the world, that even come upon the children of God, Hallelujah, that even all of that will not separate me, will not cause me to turn around. Yeah, there's some loved ones that have gone on and, you know, we don't understand. Some have lost homes, some have lost jobs, some have lost children, some have lost... Yeah, we experience loss, even in the kingdom, even in the body of Christ, we experience loss. But our God will get you through. Oh, yes, he will. Our God will get you through. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, the marriage didn't work out. Children not getting along. Things are happening. But our God, our God. come on, if you just get in the word. You, come on, find yourself in the scripture. Make that word jump off the pages into your life. Start to live. Come on what you read about. Start to live what you sing about. Start to live what you preach about. Because there's going to come a time in your life that you're going to have to stand on that same word that you talk about. The Bible tells us perilous times are coming. Hallelujah. There are things that's going to come thank you Lord God I'm almost done as I said that God is in eternity eternity ahead of us 
going to read just a little of Psalms 37. It says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers, and be not envious against the workers of iniquity, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass, and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. Commit thy ways unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He's already there. He's already answered. He said he'll bring it to pass, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently. Somebody hear that? Yes. Wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his ways. You know why? Because that's temporary. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his ways because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. It may look easy, it may look good, it may look like the way out, but you better make sure that you're following what God wants you to follow and do what God has called you to do. Thank you, Lord God. I think I'm going to do this one in closing this scripture. Coming from Deuteronomy chapter 33, 26 and 27. It says, There is none like unto God of Jeshurun, which is another word for Israel. There is none like unto God of Israel, of Jeshurun, who rideth upon the heaven in thy help. In his excellency on the sky. The eternal God is thy refuge. Let me say that again. The eternal God is our refuge. And underneath are the everlasting arms. Come on, he'll get you through. He won't drop you. He won't leave you. He won't forsake you. Come on, when you get that eternal connection with him, and the only way to get an eternal connection with him is to make him Lord and Savior. Oh, I don't want to miss that, y'all. Because people will get excited about the word, and they'll try to adopt the word for themselves. And many times, I'm going to tell you the truth, many times uh, uh, when you follow the principles of the word of God, you will see things work out in your life. I mean, when you're a giver, even, even when you're not connected to the vine in salvation, I've seen it. People have a heart of giving. You will see God bless them in, in certain ways when you follow the principles of the word of God. But here God is telling us, that we got to get connected in an eternal way. Eternal way. Hallelujah. An eternal way. An eternal glory. It says the eternal God is thy refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. And he shall thrust out the enemy from before thee and shall save, destroy them. So all your problems, all your issues, all of your circumstances, if you stay connected to the eternal God, who's not trying to figure it out, come on, but already knows the thoughts and the plans, come on y'all, that he has towards you that are not for evil. Thank you, Lord God, that you can say, I know because I'm connected to the eternal God that I can do all things, come on, through Christ that strengthens me. Hallelujah. Experience, y'all. We know 
in Romans 8, it says again, And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God and to them who are called according to his purpose. That's not just you saying, oh God, I love you so much. You're so good to me. Many people, we base our love just like we do our earthly love. Our, our love to God has to go beyond what, how we feel earthly. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because our love is based off of what people do. Yes. Our love is based off of what people do and how they act. They act up, we kick it to the curb. But here he said, we know all things work together for the good. To them that love God. What does it say about loving God? If you love him, you'll do what? You'll keep his commandments. If you love him with a perfect love, his perfect love towards us, that while we were yet sinners, he died for us. Perfect love, come on, cast out all fear, cast out all the doubt. You don't have to fear tomorrow. You don't have to fear what's coming tomorrow. You don't have to fear what's coming the next minute. Knowing that God has established you, he has strengthened you. He has made you able, come on, to go through eternal glory. Everlasting arms. Songwriter said, I'm leaning. I'm leaning. I am safe and I'm secure from. Serena, I'm leaning. Hallelujah. I'm leaning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time. Yes, I'm leaning. I'm leaning. I'm safe and I'm secure from all. Because I'm leaning, I'm leaning, I'm leaning, I'm leaning, I'm leaning on the everlasting. any confidence come on in the arms that are holding you come on I'm in his hands y'all come on somebody say I'm in his hands I'm in his hands oh I'm in the hands of God hallelujah hallelujah and he's walking with me and he's talking with me and he's telling me that I belong to him Thank you, Jesus. Come on, somebody tell him thank you. Thank you for the evidence of you working. Come on, in my life. Come on, thank you for my armor. Come on, thank you for my experience that you've allowed me to go through. I thank you, God. Hallelujah. For everything. For everything. What seems like it was... Uh, 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 here to kill me and here to take me out God or oh, you turn it around for my good 
It's caused me to look to you. It's caused me to put my eyes upon you. Hallelujah. It's caused me to cast my cares upon you because you care for me in such a special way. Now, because of those experiences, I can praise you. I can lift you up and I can magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with your praise. Come on, anybody got to thank you today? Come on, can you tell them thank you today? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You never gave up on me. Even when I gave up on myself. You never gave up on me, Lord. Today I just want to say thank you. Father God, we want to say thank you for the word on today. Thank you for the songs. Thank you for those who have gathered here online today. To hear your word. Father, we just want to give you praise and glory for our life, our health, and our strength. Because we know that it's coming from you. If the enemy had his way, we'd be flat on our back. Our minds would not be stayed on you. Come on. We would not have the ability to even click. And come on this broadcast today if the enemy had his way. So even though, oh God, a lot of us out there, we feel like we're fighting right now. Help them to realize just by clicking today. Just by having a mind today to hear the word of God. There are already winners. We are already are overcomers. Come on, we are already more than conquerors. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Help us, God. Help us that this word will become life. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. So long we have been just reading and not applying. Help us to apply the word to our everyday living. That's how we will experience the success that you have promised. We just read it in your word that what you promised God, you're going to see it through. Help us to realize, oh God, that you're speaking to us, not somebody else, but you're speaking to your people. So many, oh God, we doubt it for our own lives. Because we're always trying to measure up ourselves. Hallelujah. We're trying to measure ourselves. But God, nothing can separate us from your love. Nothing can separate us from your love. When we say yes to you, oh God, it's an eternal yes. Because we're talking to an eternal God. Hallelujah. Help us to realize, oh God, that you're outside of time. Hallelujah. But you're always in time also working on our behalf. We thank you today. We thank you today. Help us to trust and believe. Help us to receive all that you have for us. Help us to know, oh God, that with you, we cannot fail. Hallelujah. With you, we can get through anything. Hallelujah. That this life, hallelujah, will be rewarding. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. When we follow your way and do it your way, in Jesus' name we pray. We say amen. Amen and amen. And amen. And amen. Saints of God, we love you. We pray the blessing of God over your life. Amen. And we just, amen, are just praying for each and every one of you. Amen. That God will continue to keep you and prosper you. And keep you in good health even as your soul prospers. Amen. I'm asking y'all, pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. We, 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 we doing this by the strength of God. 
Amen. Only he can do it, y'all. Only he can do it. Amen. So I'm asking you to stay prayed up. Join us on tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Amen. We will be having noonday prayer. You can go to our website. Amen. And on our website, you will get all the information that you need. Amen. To be able to connect to us on Mondays and on Wednesday for Bible study as well as next Friday evening for prayer. All right. So go online there. Also online, you can go and you can give. Just click that donate button. That you'll see on www.citadelofhopemission.org. Go over there. Amen. I want you to like us on Facebook and go over to YouTube. Our YouTube channel, Citadel Mission. Amen. And when you go over there, I want you to subscribe. It's important that you subscribe. All right. That way you can keep up through YouTube and everything. And it helps us to grow. The more you subscribe, the more uh, uh, it, it's put out there for others to hear what the Lord has to say through Citadel of Hope Mission. So again, we thank you for joining us. I want to say happy birthday to everybody in the month of January. Amen. I say happy birthday to you. Amen. And may God continue to bless you and keep you again in good health. Amen. And until next time, amen. Again, we pray the blessings of God over you and your family, your children and your children's children. Amen. As I said earlier in the week, I believe that this year, this year. is the year of the turnaround for our children. Yeah. Amen. I need somebody to grab onto that. Oh. I need somebody to grab onto that. Amen. And maybe it's not for everybody, but it can be for you. Huh? That's the word for me in my house. Yes. Even though it doesn't look like it right, the evidence is not yet there, but God will give you the evidence. And you know what the best evidence is to me? When I pray about my children turning around, is that he did it for this brother. He did it for this brother. <laughs> we know, we know one another. We know what God did for in our lives. So that is our greatest evidence. It's our life that shows us that God is able to do all things but fail. Amen. Y'all know I'll keep on talking. So I'm going to say goodbye to you and bid you God's speed. And we're going to just pray. Father God, we thank you for all again that are here on today. Continue to bless and keep them and prosper them. Oh God, make this word alive in their everyday living. And we'll be so careful to praise you and give you the glory in Jesus' name. Now let's say, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh Lord, you are my strength. You are my redeemer. In Jesus' name, amen. We love you, everybody. Y'all take care. God bless.